Today we're going to talk about how to rig the fly line. Prepare your floating line or your sinking line to accept the fly. Most of the fly lines today already come with a pre-tied piece of nylon with a perfection loop on the end. And again, most of the leaders that are supplied today are knotless, tapered, the tapers for turnover of the fly, and they also come with a perfection loop on the end. So carefully, you unwind. This happens to be a 12 foot 5X leader. And the leader is the tapered part of the line, which on this, on this, fifth, on this uh, 12 footer is approximately probably 10 feet of it. And then you have two feet of tippet, which is a straight, more of a straight part. Fastening the two, how I like to do it is hold the line section. This is the leader over the perfection loop and then take the leader and pull it through the fly line connector perfection loop. Now we're ready to fish. The leader's attached to your fly line. It makes a nice tight knot so you're in, con you're in contact with the fly. The objective to the loop to loop connectors is, you know, leaders are running, you know, a few dollars a piece. So that way there you're able to reverse the method remove the leader from your fly line connector run back to the tippet section where the fly was coil it back up three loops of the uh, through. So now you're back to put it right back into the packet that it came in. And it's ready to be used again. So that way there you don't have to throw away or discard a, uh, a three or a four dollar liter. It's also nice to carry a little pack in your, in your vest or your uh, waders. So when you're doing the clippings of the nylon or the, or the floral carbon, you can put those in your pack and throw them away when you get home instead of littering the river.